perhaps you have seen something like this and you want to do it but you don't know how to do it and that's what i'm going to show you today i don't know how to we are going to call it but it's usually called an audio visualizer yeah without wasting much of your time let's jump into it so the first thing i'll assume is that you've already made a poster for for the song or maybe if you'll just use a picture it's also fine and i i prefer that it is squared so i prefer it is always better when it is squared so make sure when you're designing your flyers they are in a square form the next thing you'll need is uh, a circle so i'll create a new new photoshop file and come to ellipse hold down shift and drag and create a perfect circle i will right click here and export it quick export as png <coughs> file so if you already have a circle that is finished then you're good to go you can skip this part so if you don't have a circle this is how you can create a quick circle in photoshop so and i'm exporting it as a png you may be having a circle which which is not actually png it is just so when you import it into premiere pro it will be it will be a square or a rectangle when it is not actually a circle so we just want the shape that's why we're exporting this one as a png file first it's uh, let me save it quickly uh, on the desktop just for the sake of the tutorial yep and and this is it this is the circle and this is my flyer so the next thing i'm going to do is now come to premiere and create a new sequence and i'll call it uh, um, tutorial and hit and choose the full hd and hit okay so now the next thing you need is your audio place the audio in in your sequence and then what you're going to do now is to import the flyer first so here it is just drag it into premiere and drag it till the end of the end of the sequence so the next thing you're going to do okay maybe we can first place this one very nicely because i need some few details i need the details of the name somehow back in the picture so i'm going to copy this and duplicate it to the to the next layer above by holding down alt and dragging so here it is and, and for the upper part and for this upper thing i'm going to scale it down just a little bit and then maybe move it actually just reset the position so that is nice then now the next the last thing i'm going to import is now the circle which is also here which i saved on the desktop and i'll place it above everything so it is looking black because it is covering the whole screen so all i have to do is scale it down down so another thing is that um the circle must be smaller somehow smaller than this frame here the the flyer the small size flyer so what i'm going to do now is go to the effects tab if you're not seeing it you can still come to window and choose effects so effects and sell and look for track met track met i'll place the track met so select uh, the second layer which is this small rectangle this small square this small flyer then apply the track met effect to it and then come to the matte layer and choose video 3 usually 
it only shows the layers that are above that layer which has the clip with the effect on it so this is the, uh, our our circle is is on uh, layer video 3 that's why now we have to choose video 3 so that means if it was on video 4 we we'll choose video 4 and so on and so on so and basically what what uh, trackmate key does it is telling premiere to take the shape of this circle and apply it on uh, on the on the on the square flyer so and and that's it so as you can see the circle is here a little bit so and if it if it happens to appear like that uh, don't panic uh, the solution is small just go to the properties of the circle make sure the circle is selected and then scale it up and more information will get revealed you can scale it until you're happy with the results i think this works for me fine so next thing i'm going to do is now catch these two things select these two layers the circle and the flyer which is carolina and then i'm going to nest them by right clicking and then saying nest so you can give the name you would like to name them but, but for example i can call it a disk disk and then hit okay so that now it is one layer yeah, so now what we are going to do we are going to apply a gaussian blur to to the bottom layer the background layer so we can come to the apex tab and search for gaussian blur it is in the blend sharpen folder and apply it to this bottom layer the background and increase the blurriness to a good number around 50 or even more you can actually even type in the amount you want let's try 77 i think that's good for me yep and the next thing i'm going to hold now this nested sequence remember the nested sequence is having the the flyer and then the circle into one thing so i'm going to select so i'm going to select it and move it but not so far i'm going to bring back another instance of the flyer one more time and bring it into our our sequence and place it on top of everything and then uh, reduce our net size until it's it's just slightly bigger just slightly bigger than the circle or what we call a disk so we can move it around here I can still reduce it then I want to also reduce the disk again reduce it and then move it to the right a little bit until it is halfway out so and basically that is the the whole process though we are not yet done so what I want to do now is start animating now the rotation of, uh, of the disk so all we have to do is is click on the stop uh, toggle animation switch uh, in rotation then i want it to rotate to make full nine for rotations around throughout the song so i'll come here and say last uh, the next keyframe and write in what you want to write let's say let's say nine times zero or you can just say 9x just type 9x then premiere will know that you want this selected item to rotate nine times and basically that's how the visualize the thing is done so there is uh, another option where we have now the audio bars reacting to the beat 
So unfortunately, that's, that is not possible in Premiere. And uh, we can, you can do it in After Effects. So maybe I'll make another tutorial on that it's because you can make it in After Effects and export it as a, as a transparent file and QuickTime file which with uh, its transparency then come and apply it in your Premiere project. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If there is anything that you think you want to ask, maybe you want to know, you can let me know in the comments down below.